I am Holly Silva and I've been an expert of crafts since 15 years ago. 15 years I've been doing this. So I'm going to show you today how to make a Bumblebee Valentine's card box out of a cereal box. So here I have a cereal box that I broke down. I broke it down real hard. And so I'm going to take every edge and every crease that once existed one way and I'm going to flip it over and make it exist the other way now, okay? So now instead of color, we're gonna see color on the inside and brown on the outside. And using our double stick tape, we're going to attach these edges together and we're gonna recreate the box. We're not reinventing the wheel, we're recreating the box. Two different things. We're gonna be thinking outside the box too, but that's a different subject. That'll come later. So make sure it's nice and secure and all of your corners are nice and cornery. And then you're gonna flip it over and make sure that it fits and it works. And does it, does it, does it? Yes, it does. Kind of. It has to. It's going to. Okay, there we go. All right. You want to check that first before you get too set on how it's going to how it's going to hold because there we go. And do that. Okay, good. No. That's good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bumblebee which we cut out of yellow construction paper and we made it this like B shape, okay? Like, if you need help doing this, just imagine taking your paper and just draw a line down the center and make a B out of it, okay? And now you fold your paper and you cut on that line and then you open it up and look, it's a B. Okay, so you're gonna flip it over or keep it on the same side and you are going to take a piece of black, either a construction paper or foam paper I used foam paper because it adds a little bit of a 3D effect, which is cool. And you're gonna line it up and you're gonna trace out these little ring marks. And you're gonna, you want them to curve a little bit because it'll add, of course, along with a 3D effect, it'll add some depth and dimension to it. I mean, you could do straight lines, which is fine. It's your B, do what you want with it. And then you're gonna cut out little things to put on the face, like a little smiley face, some little eyeballs, and then you're going to take some Elmer's glue and dab it on the mouth here. Now, by the way, I already glued these little ring things down, his little, his little stripes, because it's a little time consuming, cutting out and tracing and all that good stuff. So I like to save your time and do these ahead of time. All right, now we're gonna stick his little smiley face there, and then we're gonna take his little eyeballs. We're gonna take his little eyeballs and we're gonna glue them on with Elmer's glue, and you can make them as close as close together as you want. I think close together, some big eyeballs close together, that's really cute. And then we're gonna take some Elmer's glue again, and we're going to drop some little dabs there, and then we're gonna take our googly eyes, and drop our googly eyes onto the big eyeballs somewhere. Again, with the 3D thing, you know? And then, because what is a paper pet or a paper anything without googly eyes? Come on now. Okay, so we're gonna slide this guy over and make sure that he fits on the box. It's probably like first and foremostly important. And then and don't forget to cut out a little stinger because what is a bumblebee without a stinger? So this time we're just gonna glue him on there and then glue that. Now he's got a stinger. Now we're gonna look at him and we're gonna make sure that he fits. So we're gonna make sure his stinger is straight and then we're gonna say, oh, this is how we want it. No, we don't. We wanna keep him down there. Why? Because we're gonna attach something else to it. It would not be a Valentine's Day box without hearts, right? So we're gonna take this little heart and we're gonna stick it on here. And then we're gonna take another little heart 
and then we're gonna stick it there. But guess what? Our bumblebee still isn't stuck. He's gonna fall off. No, he's not though, because we're gonna stick him with some Elmer's glue. And we're just gonna trace around his little, his little bee body. And we'll go like that. And then we're going to flip this upside down, like so. Okay, now go underneath, put your hand under the box, and press it on there. Okay, and you got your heart stuck on. And that is how you make a bumblebee valentine box out of a cereal box. Happy Valentine's. See you next time.